18 and verse 11, uh -huh. and it reads, For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. So you lost, brother, because you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know your origin. You don't know where you came from, and you don't know your desired, you know, destination because you don't know where you come from, right? So uh, Matthews uh, 15, 24. Uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So have you ever heard that before? That that Christ, who they, who they say Christ, we call the Hamashiach in the Bible, was only sent to the children of Israel? Like he only died for the children of Israel? Have you ever heard that? You, they say, they tell you he died for the whole world, for right? Everybody, for everybody, world. right? All nationalities, all mm -hmm. kindreds, right? All people, right? right? But that's not biblical. He only gave his life for the children of Israel for their sins so that they could be cleansed, right? Okay, because that's under the, uh, the priest's orders to clean the nation. You see that? So that's why he came as a king and a priest, right? So um, let me get Deuteronomy 28 real quick. How do you save ourselves? You said, how do we save ourselves? We're going to show you, right? Matter of fact, let me get, uh, yeah, yeah, go there real quick. Yeah, 15, 28, 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Because it's going to answer that question, too, because now now you know that we got to save. You said, how are we going to save ourselves? Meaning we're in a terrible case right now. We we don't, uh, we are people who we rob from each other, right? We sleep around with other brothers' wives. We committing all manner of sin out here, and that's why we're punished, right? That's why we're on the bottom of society, no matter what earth, part of the earth we in, right? You go to China, the black man's on the bottom of the totem pole, right? You go to Russia, it's the same thing, right? But go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See, our people got listening problems, you see, but it's all right there in the Bible, right? But we don't want to rightfully divide the word of truth because we don't really read it, right? But some of us can't read it, though. That's why we need teachers. We, we do need teachers, but we're too ashamed to even ask questions because of pride, right? Mm -hmm. But so we're going to show you how to be saved because we're in a cursed state right now because we don't know. Those, those of us that don't know what happened to us, we're in a cursed state. So go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because we didn't listen, he put curses on us, right? And things that would be identifiable markers to show who we are, right? So, um, let me get verse 60. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, hold that right there. What's Egypt? You know what Egypt is? Uh, part of Africa. Egypt, a part of Africa. But Egypt also um, is a condition, right? Egypt can mean something else, too, in the Bible, right? So, um, Exodus 20 and 2. Right, because we we got to be retaught again and reclassified as a people. You see that because they just told us that we was black, right? They just told us we was Afro Americans. You see that? That's what Jesse Jackson did, so that we would never come back to our origin. He just gave us a hairstyle, right? But go ahead. Look at Exodus chapter twenty and verse two. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Right out of the house of bondage right so egypt is another word for bondage yeah. captivity right so when you go back to deuteronomy the 28th chapter right now you read that with a whole new light see that see we were supposed to go uh commandment a uh, commandment right and line upon line and link up these scriptures you see that that's how we get understanding once we understand the commandments then he start to reveal the rest of the scriptures to us you see that go ahead you start back at the top. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Mm -hmm. with, with what? So he said he's going to bring you into captivity, slavery with ships. ships. See that? Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when, we, when you look at it, like, where you from? You from North Carolina? So we look at North Carolina and parts of Virginia, right? Uh, um you know, uh, Memphis, right? All these different places. You look at uh, the slave trade. Wasn't we sold, right? The white man sold us all. The same way they do in the NFL, right? They put you on that block, they test you out, measure you out, see if your teeth is good, right? They, they check you out to see where they can sign you up to work at, right? That's the same thing they did back in slavery. Right? You shall be sold to your 
enemies uh -huh. for bond men and bond women. So now we got to identify who our enemies are, you know what I'm saying? So if you ain't got uh, your enemy, now you know who my friends are, right? Because we operating in the same space. So my enemy is somebody outside of that. So even you could be my enemy. So when we read the Bible, right, and it says that I should have mercy on my enemies, right, and show compassion to my enemy, you my brother, I got to treat you with that love and compassion. You can be my enemy too. So that's outside of that understanding to say, that uh, your, your enemy love your enemy like you just loving everybody. Now nah, I gotta love my brother. You understand who know who who should know to keep the law, right? But our people don't know, so we gotta teach the law, right? We gotta show why we were cursed. What happened to us, right? Like you eat you eat uh, like pork or anything like that, shrimp. You don't eat meat. Okay, that's that's cool right there, right? And, and listen, at one point in time we didn't eat meat, right? Uh, Genesis one twenty nine, right? At one point in time, that was all that we that we was uh, consuming, you know, before the flood. You see that these these different sacrifices and things of that nature came into existence by sin. You see that, and that's what the representation of the Hamashiach is is that ultimate sacrifice. We as a nation didn't always eat flesh. In the Bible, it tells you when we ate flesh and when we ate meat. Meat can mean other things. Meat can mean herbs, things that's good to you. You see what I'm saying? So it's not always like cattle, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. And the Most High said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Bearing what? Bearing seed. seed. Bearing seed. Everything that's got life in it, come, it's seed. You see that? We got life in us and we give life to the woman, which is the earth. That's seed that we give her, right? So she produces child. That's the same thing that you do when you plant that seed and it brings forth that tree pick that apple off of there, you eat that fruit. It's supposed to give you energy, give you life. That's why the sun is beaming down on these plants and these trees because we the same representation. We feed off the energy of the sun the same way the plants and the trees do. You see what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. Behold, I have given you every herb, herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, mm -hmm. and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. That's right. And if you go into the creation story, you see he created the trees and the plants and all of this stuff first. We did the direct in line with that creation. Our bodies is aligned with the trees that we see here, but we don't think so. We don't because we Lord, we learn their science, their technology, right? We learn how to uh, uh, medicate ourselves through their sorcery, through their witchcraft. You see what I'm saying? Their whole educational system is flawed, right? They gave us what they wanted us to learn, right? The Rothschilds, that's their institution. You see that? But they, they you got even the HBCUs that they say are, are, are supposed to be our schools, they're attached still to the Rothschild system. It's still the same education. You see that? They just put us on it, so it, they make us seem like we're getting a benefit of it. But uh, Joshua 1 and 8 real quick, that's our benefit. This is how we're going to prosper by the law. So you already operating in, in a few spaces of the law right now because you don't eat you don't eat things that's defiling your temple, right? Like abominable foods. You can scratch that off the list because you don't eat meat. You see what I'm saying? So now you got to look at some of the other laws, right? Like now you lining your beard up, your beard is light, you got the, you got your uh, your head all intact, you ain't got no bald head, you still keeping the law, you see that? Our people don't even know some of the things we do naturally is in tune with the law. You see that? Go ahead. Book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. See, we were supposed to come back to the book of the law. This whole book is a representation of order, right? Go ahead. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. See, we're supposed to meditate on the law. We're supposed to meditate on the things that fix us and correct us. That's why our system, our community is so fucked up, right? Excuse my French, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Uh -huh. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. See that? That's how we're going to be successful as a people because now when you know that uh, I got to treat my brother as self, if I'm somebody in a high statue, I got to look at my brother in a low state and build him up. You see that? So now if my brother ain't got enough food, I got to take what I got in an increase that the most I bless me with and feed my brother that ain't got what I got. You see that? That way it keeps cycling out through our generations and we learn how to treat each other with love. You see that? But they took that away from us. They turned us against one another, right? With our own inventions. We created everything. And they turned it all against us. You see what I'm saying? But we were supposed to come back together in love, right? In a unity of brotherhood. Zephyr 921. What you got there? You got to do something. I have Leviticus 19. Yeah, go ahead. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. 
Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. How much hatred you know we got for each other out here, right? Don't that plague our communities, all in the projects, in the ghettos? We got so much hatred for each other. We don't care if we go right in another brother's house while he left out to go to work. We watch him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he about to leave. And then now nah, he's sneaking in the, another brother's door, going and laying his wife in his bed. You see that? That's how trifling we are as a people, man. But go ahead. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So we're supposed to correct our brothers when we see him going off. We're supposed to correct our sisters when we see him going off and they ain't dressed right, right? Because that's correction, right? Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. That's my duty and all these brothers out here to not suffer sin on our people. So that's why we're standing here today, brother, with this knowledge, right? Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Gather yourself together. See, the Lord always told us to be together. That's how we get strength. We feed off of each other. If we got enough creators in our own community, right? You look at Black Wall Street, you look at Dom, right? You look at Rosewood, you look at all these communities. You look at Charlotte, right? The Queen City. We built that. You see that? But they don't want us to know it. They just want us to think that we were just somewhere hanging from trees and, and just trying to make it happen the best way we could. But, yeah, we the creators of all this stuff we see, man. Right? The whole system, their law come from this. Right? Go ahead. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not by heart. So we ain't desired as a people, man. But we the best, strongest people on the planet. You see that? We trying to hold equality with a system and a people that was never supposed to be equal to us. Right? Go to uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick, right? Because we was we was created to be above all people through the law. You see that our own essence, our design structure, like I said, that sun right there, beaming right here, is giving us life and energy. You see that? But yet, right, the other day I was coming outside and seeing this damn European, right? Who's the uh, Edomites in the Bible, right? Walking outside, it's cold as hell, it's like 30 degrees. It's, he got no shoes on. No shoes on his feet. Why can they do that? We can't do that. We be cold as hell, right? We, we run from the cold. That's that's dead season. Nothing grows, nothing is fruitful in the winter. You see that? We come in the time of the sun, where the sun give us life. They can't come out here in that sun the way we do. It's destroying them, right? It's a cancer unto them, but it give us life. You see that? Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art of only people to the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Lord thy God have chosen me to be a special people. So he said you're a holy people, could die separate, right? Put apart, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You got multiple cars? Yeah, so is, is, is that your favorite one? Nah? Okay, so the, the favorite one at the house, right? Chilling, see that? Hey, that's what the Lord said. He said he put you at the house to chill, right? Jacob was a, a plain man dwelling in tents. Right, go ahead. But thou art a holy people to the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. You're supposed to be special, brother. Go ahead. Unto himself. Unto the Lord. Go ahead. Above all people. Above are... all people, brother. You see that? But we fighting for equal rights. Your power, your creator, your maker told you you was above everybody. But they told you you was three-fifths. <laughs> Boss man, this your number right here? Uh, but no, nah, that's not my number. But that's our identity. We can uh, hit us up. And it'll go to any one of us. Got an okay. email up there. Okay, hey, look, run, you could go around on the back of there, too. That's our YouTube channel. You can cue that into your phone. Look us up, brother. We can go out to the four corners and teach the truth, brother. Okay. All right? Yeah, I like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. All praises, brother. Hey, and I appreciate your, uh, your your patience and your air because that's how we cleanse the system, all right? Somebody got to do it, man. It's messed up out here. Yeah, hey, all praises, I'm brother. in a good area, man. Right, right, right. Right, right, brother. Hey, all praises, all praises, man. We give all glory and honor to you. How are you? 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 How are